here we get. This is my Ford Cummins with the Amsoil Bypass uh, filtration system on it. I just want to show how long it takes for it to build oil pressure. So running about 20 seconds. So that was roughly 10 seconds to build oil pressure. And it has been worse than that. So 10 seconds is actually not too bad for it to build full oil pressure. But uh, I called Amazon about this and they actually said go back to the factory oil filter system. Said uh, they don't recommend the bypass on an, I think it was a 2003 and newer truck. So I guess today I'm gonna be headed to the uh, auto parts store to get a filter system or another filter for the truck and take the bypass system off. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, guys. I got my Amsoil bypass filter system out of the truck. It is a really nice system. I mean, I have to admit, uh, I just wish it worked for me. The, uh, had the 110 filter for the bypass and uh, EAO 26 for the uh, primary filter. It's a very, like I said, it's a very nice setup. Uh, and it's really easy to mount. They give you a sticker template to put on the frame to drill your holes out so you line it up perfect. Uh, they give you plenty of line. I mean, they gave me all this line here. And all that came with it, you got these uh, uh, old, it's kind of like the uh, stainless steel braided lines. So this part screws onto the outside and then the uh, this piece right here screws into the inside of the hose to give you, uh, that's actually a JIC uh, fitting. So, uh, and, and by the way, just so you know, JIC fitting will not work on an AN fitting. I think one of them's a 35, one's a 45. So just to let you know, if it says JIC on the fitting, it will not work on a AN fitting. So you have to use their fittings. Uh, I did buy these to keep the oil line separate, to keep it from rubbing and everything. Uh, they work very nicely. Uh, scroll on over here. Um, so the reason why I changed it out is because it was taking so long to build oil pressure. Uh, see this is all the oil that was in the line this is actually closed the uh, top of it's closed off so but that's all that was on the uh, or in the line whenever I took it off now the filters the filters actually did have full full of oil they were still full but uh, yeah they didn't uh, they didn't help because uh, you still gotta fill up all that line right there. And it would take about 15, 20 uh, seconds to fill up. So your engine was running dry for that length of time. Uh, I just went back, sorry. Just went back with a Mopar uh, oil filter. Cummins, you can see the part number. Already got it on, and there it is. Um, by the way, I'm gonna do a, another uh, video on how I put in the twin turbo system. There's a lot to go on to it And it actually So I did ceramic coat this but it seems to be still rusting a little bit uh, Anyway We'll see All right, that's all let me let me get it all back together We'll start it up and see how long it takes for it to build oil pressure. Hopefully it's Hopefully it's within a few seconds not 
not uh what was it 10 uh 15 20 seconds if i can get the oil pressure up in two or three seconds that's what i'm aiming for all right here we go all right guys this is the first time start up with the uh single oil filter like i said it was the mopar cummins oil filter so here we go Oh yeah, that's a lot faster. Uh, by the way, when I was reading on the oil filter, it does have a anti-drain back valve on that filter. So I'm guessing that's why it came back up so quickly. And uh, yes, that's pretty much the reason why you don't want to put the Amsoil dual bypass filter system on a Cummins. Uh, I wish there was a better way to do that. I wish there, you could put that on there because, well, first of all, I spent all that money and now I can't use it. But uh, anyway, all right, glad that shows you what is wrong and uh, why you shouldn't put that on there. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, here we go. One more start. This is with the uh, factory oil filter.